Hey there, I'm Jamie New, the founder of Smartest You, and in this video you're going to learn how to get a booking agent. I'm going to talk about what they look for in artists, how they find them, and how to reach out to them. When you're done watching this video, comment and let us all know what you think, and also make sure you check out the description of this video uh, to download your free artist management startup kit if you haven't yet, which comes with 10 free templates and guides. So step number one is to understand their role and your relationship with them. An agent's role is to create touring strategies with management, book shows and appearances, prepare contracts and handle financial aspects, work on other promotional and administrative tasks, as well as constantly seek new talent, unless their roster is full. So as a manager or self-managed artist, it is your responsibility to oversee and collaborate with the agent. It's important to work with an agent that the artist likes, however, the manager is the one working with the agent on a daily basis, so it's best the manager uh, works with an agent that they like too, and agents feel the same way. They may love an artist, but if they dislike the manager, they may not agree to represent that artist. Step number two is to understand where you are at. You need to consider if you are ready to give away 10% of your performance fees to your agent. You may not be ready to give away that 10% yet, especially if you already have a manager, then that's tacking on top of the manager's uh, agreement. Additionally, it's very important to do all of the work yourself before you're ready for an agent. Most agents want to see that you've already booked a tour or you can sell out shows before they want to work with you. So be aware of where you're at and if you're even ready for an agent. And if not, keep building connections, but know it might take a few years of doing it on your own first. And we have lots of other videos on booking tours and shows and emailing venue buyers yourself, so be sure to check those out and I'll link to them in the description. Step number three is to know what they're looking for and model that. So they're looking for an amazing live performance, but not only that, they're also looking for one that fits with their personal taste and fits with where they are at in their career. They're looking for artists who have developed at least a local fan base, artists who have already created a national buzz, depending on if that's where they're at in their career, artists who have booked their own full tours possibly, artists who have clear, uh, clearly put in the time and worked their asses off, um, artists who have a plan, artists who can sell tickets, and even better if you can sell out shows completely on your own, and artists with good work ethic. Step number four is to know how the agents find artists and be findable. Uh, most of the time, well-known quality agents sign artists based on recommendations from existing relationships with colleagues in other areas of the industry, including managers, label reps, publicists, promoters, buyers, uh, you name it. Otherwise, sometimes they find them at a live show that they happen to be at, or they may have heard them on the radio, saw them on a chart, saw them in a popular publication, or maybe even in, in a discovery streaming pay playlist, etc. But essentially, when an artist is making a move in the industry and people are talking about it, an agent will hear about it. So get out there, build your fan base yourself, make relationships and network as much as possible because those people could connect you with agents or anyone else in the industry. Um, you can also cold email agents and pitch yourself, but it's super rare that they will sign you after that. But that's not to say that it won't work as it's also part of the relationship building. Which brings me to step number six is to reach out and build relationships. In any scenario that we come in contact with booking agents, whether we're found by them or we're reaching out to them cold turkey, <laughs> we always need to ask ourselves, what are they looking for and what's in it for them? And what are they in the business of doing? Agents are in the business of selling live performances. So you have to sell your live performance to them. And what's the first step in selling a live performance to an agent? Is getting them out to your live performance. So invite them to your show. Um, and that is if you're not currently already meeting them at your live show. So reach out, draft an email, do not call them, and include a link to your best song, a link to your best filmed live performance if you have one. And if you don't, you should make one. Include a few of your most noteworthy points without a cold sell and invite them to your next show if you have one in their area. If not, use your live video and briefly tell them about your upcoming performance schedule because you never know they might be in your city. If you liked this video, uh, comment with your thoughts, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, uh, share it with your friends, and thank you very much for watching.